What is up, y'all? It's Jake from The Art of Progression, and I'm doing another estate sale haul video. It's uh, been another week, so I got a whole another pile of junk that's gonna make me a pile of cash. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So, first, I got a huge pile of vintage life magazines from the 50s up to the early 70s I believe and I got three boxes total you can see this this is one stack there's about 200 and I paid 20 for the entire bundle um, comps vary all over the place they're going from five dollars shipped those are probably auctions that just got one bid and the guy's crying about it to up to 20 bucks per magazine so I'm listing them all for $14.99 with free shipping and hopefully I'll just find random people that want to bundle different issues so that's how I'm pricing them for 20 bucks I knew I couldn't get hurt if I sell for them I'll be in the green so took a risk they're gonna take a while to sell but that's fine also I'm getting help from my homie Marcus here what's going on guys uh, he's helped me list these just ginormous stack and he is a, he's still an infant eBay seller he just got started but he's killing it uh, yeah <laughs> I, I'm a teenager so uh, it's it's fun to be able to bounce ideas off ideas off each other and uh, see how we both work and uh, yeah, so it's good to be around like-minded people. It keeps you in the flow, keeps you going. The energy just, the frequency just kind of like goes. So good to have him around. Next up, I got more magazines. This is one estate so it hadn't, it was an estate that probably had stuff that had been collected for like a hundred years. And I got this stack. This is half the stack of National Geographic's and these are even older. These go from the 20s to the 40s. And I'm also pricing these comparably at 15 bucks each with free shipping. And I expect those also to go slowly, but then certain buyers will want to bundle them and I'll make my money back that way. And then something else that I got that was really, uh, I didn't do my research, but I got this entire box of Rifleman magazines for five bucks and given with the the gun control debate going on right now and The NRA stuff. I figured maybe people want these and they go back from the 70s through the 2000s so I'm gonna post those for probably ten bucks each and Just see what happens. So experiment, you know I, For 30 bucks total. I got 300 magazines probably and I only need a couple of them to sell to be in the green, so. Uh, let's see here. We're coming down low now. Let's get intimate. So after the estate sales, I hit, there's a swap meet in my neighborhood every Sunday. And people just bring stuff randomly and sell it out of the back of their cars in a just giant parking lot in the neighborhood. And I scored a few good things. These Ryobi battery chargers sell all day, 30 bucks, Amazon. I got three of them for two bucks a pop. So I'm making like a thousand percent of my money. I also got this vintage Napa Marine battery charger. It does, uh, it could start a battery or it can triple charge. And uh, I got that for five bucks. The comps are around 50. So solid pickup. And I also scored some shoes, which I've never dabbled in before, but everyone on Instagram talks about these, like they're the hotness. So I gotta be one of the cool kids. So for 250 a piece, I scored a bunch of different varieties of cleats. They're all pre-owned, but some of them are barely used. These are some Adidas. 
I haven't checked comps yet. I'm probably gonna start them as auctions. Probably $20 free shipping because I want to sell them quickly with the summertime coming up, coming up. And for $2.50 a piece, I really can't get hurt. So this is more, this is more of a learning experience and finding out how cleats sell and what's valuable than an actual profit margin for me. And then some of the last stuff I bought is an oldie but a goodie, pun intended. This Sony Walkman, I used to get this from the bins all the time. Nobody wants to grab these because they look like junk, but this is 30 to 40 bucks on Amazon. Picked it up for $2 at a sale. Even has the ratchet headphones that they come with with the metal band. And uh, haven't tested this yet. Gotta get some double A's, but it comes with a cassette to test. This guy's listening to some French person. I'll just cut that out. Uh, yeah, so just doing a quick video, nothing fancy. I'm gonna try and keep these coming to you guys once a week because I always go estate selling on Sundays and I'm gonna aim to get it posted by Monday night. Um, and that will be my consistent schedule. So stay tuned.